ADOS The Great YouTube channel. So guys, in today's video, I'm going to be discussing a few positional changes that I definitely think could help the Rabbitohs. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of you guys out there that are watching this that are South Sydney fans. I know there's going to be people out there that aren't South Sydney fans watching this. Just, um, you know, wanting to see how I would change the side. Now, obviously, we've named a very similar side to last week outside of a few players for the game on Friday against the Bulldogs. Well, I, think, I think there are definitely some positional changes that uh, could be added in all fairness. So let, let's discuss it. And again, guys, you guys may completely disagree with me, and that is fine. But if you guys know me, you know I'm always that glass half full guy. And regardless of who plays what position, I'm always going to have their back, no matter what, no matter my opinion, if they should be playing there or shouldn't. If they're donning the red and green jersey, the Cardinal and Myrtle, I'm going to support them. So this has got nothing to do with, you know, players playing poorly in positions. This is just a look to the future as well, if you will. So let's talk about this, guys. So the fullback for me, obviously Latrell Mitchell, he's got that jersey at the moment. That jersey is his. But I do think that a change to Jai Gray, who is a young up-and-comer, could definitely benefit from that number one jersey. I really do. He's killing it in reserve grade. The Rabbitohs are looking to re-sign him on what I believe to be a pretty decent deal. So I think Joe Gray is a great shout for fullback, and I think that he really could make that jersey his. So Joe Gray is my selection there. Uh, my wingers, so obviously you've got Alex Johnston on one wing. There's no doubt about it. AJ has to be one winger. Uh, then the other winger, you know, until um, Tyrone Munro gets back, I am actually, look, I love Tane Milne. I really do like Tane Milne. He is, he's a weapon. He He's great bringing the ball back, you know, when we need some metres out of our own end. He is brilliant at that. But I just think, we look, we've got Alex Johnson, who's not not a, notorious, um, not a notoriously tall bloke. I mean, he's, he's, he's not short either, but uh, definitely not uh, the tallest. So... I think we look at Isaac Thompson on the other wing, a bit like Tane as well in the fact that if we need to get out of trouble down the other end, he can definitely bring that ball back. So I think Isaac Thompson is probably a good shout there as well. Now, now that Joe Gray has filled in the fullback spot, my left centre is going to be Latrell Mitchell. Latrell is one of, if not the best centre in the world, and I have always been an advocate for him playing fullback. Now, the issue is, yeah, look, we have a better win rate when he's playing. That's absolutely correct. We do, and I'm not discrediting that. But I just I just think that while it's not going great for us at the moment, I think a positional change like this could be good. It could be good for not only the club, but Luttrell as well. Like, it takes a lot of pressure off him moving him back into the centres. I know he loves fullback. He wants to play fullback. But, man, I'll tell you what, having him out on the centre, he will he will go back to being the best centre in the world, in my opinion. If he slots back out there, he will kill it. And AJ will be scoring hundreds of tries, hundreds more, I guarantee it. So the Trail Mitchell back out there in the centres, I think that it's definitely something that we should look at as a club. Um, the other centre, obviously going to be Isaiah Tass until Kemble Graham returns. And then Tass, unfortunately, probably goes out to the wing, to be fair. I probably would be happy to move Tass out to the wing. I think that's that's a very, very good option there for us too. Um, and that really, like, we've got a lot of players here that can play on the wing. You've got Jacob Gagai, you've got um, Richard Kenner, Tane Milne. Isaac Thompson, but I think Isaiah Tass could, transi could transition well into a winger. Uh, my 5'8", I know he came over to play centre, I know that. And second row is another position that I definitely do think he could play uh, if needed. I think that, you know, that, that could really help our right side as well with Keon moving to the left. I know Jai Arrow hopefully will be back in, say, the next three to four weeks, fingers crossed. But until he gets back, like Jack Whiten could be another good shout for a second rower. But for me, 5'8 at the moment because I think we move Cody Walker 
out into half back. I definitely think he could do a job in the halves I really, or in the halfback position. I really do. And I love Lockie Ilias. As you guys know, I'm a massive advocate for Ilias. I think he's a great player, but he's just lacking the confidence at the moment. Until he gets that confidence back, I would be happy to run a White and Walker halves combo. I think that would be insane. All right, in the front row, uh, obviously, you've got to have uh, Tavita Totola. He's got to be one of your front rowers. If he's not, I think there's something wrong with you. He has been one of, if not a most consistent front rower. He's got to stay there. I have no issues with that. I think he, that, that's, his, yeah, that's his position. He should not ever lose it. Uh, next up, I'm actually going to go David Mowale. Look, I loved when Jason Demetrio said we're naming Davey in the front row. I just hated the fact that he only played 20 minutes. That was pathetic. That was a terrible Terrible decision, and I think Davey should be a starting front rower. I think he's a great front rower. And the reason I like Davey starting over Tom Burgess is the impact that Tom gives us off the bench. And we sort of lose that when we start Tom Burgess, which we are doing this weekend. So I think Davey Mowale is the right option there in the front row. Again, though, I wouldn't be opposed to moving Jack White into an edge permanently and then bringing on Jai Arrow up in the middle in the front row there. I think that could be another smart play. Uh, at dummy half, Damien Cook, look, hasn't had the greatest season, the start to the season. I don't think he's been bad by any means, but definitely not, not, the, not the cookie we know. And he's still our best option for dummy half. But honestly, Peter Mowazales is not far off either. So definitely another good shout there, Pistol Pete. Uh, in the second row, you've obviously got Kion Kolon Matangi, on the left edge there, and then on the right edge. Look, I love Hosty, and congratulations to him playing his 100th game. Like, that is incredible. Really, really massive uh, congratulations to him. Like, he deserves it. He really does. Um, but after this week, I'm probably going to Alice Duncan. Hopefully, he's fully over the injury. He's more confident now that he's had more game time under his belt. I think Tullis Duncan's ready to take that edge spot full time uh, and again like if you were to move Jack White in there I, like I think that could work too as I said before and it definitely helps out our right hand side having someone like Jack White over that side as well but Talis Duncan man he's got to be somewhere in this squad and I think for now that uh, right edge spot should be his that 100% should be his Locke is 1000% Cameron Murray you'd be an idiot to say otherwise he is our captain he is the ultimate workhorse, definitely deserves to be that number 13. All right, the bench. This is the interesting part. So there's a few options here for the number 14. Michael Cheekham playing there this week. I don't think that's the right call. Uh, Saliva Havili, he's been hot and cold this season. There's been some games where he has been phenomenal. There's been some games where he's been very quiet. I think Saliva Havili definitely deserves to be somewhere in the team. However, I am leaning more towards Peter Mumbozelis. He's killing it in reserve grades right now. And, you know, he's going to be Damien's successor when Damien Cook retires. So we need to get as much game time into him now as possible. And I think, you know, 20 minutes off the interchange bench for him is just, that's really going to help him and help his confidence too, in my opinion. All right, next up, we've got the number 15 jersey here. Few options you could lean to here again, like uh, Michael Cheekham, not a bad shout to be fair. Saliva Havili, good shout there as well. Sean Kepi, been a bit quiet this season. Like the first game, I thought he was really good, and then he's sort of fallen off a little bit. Uh, Shaq Mitchell, definitely a good shout too. I would probably lean towards Shaq. I just think the impact that Shaq offers off the bench is really good, really underrated. So I'd say Shaq Mitchell. Definitely deserves to be there. Uh, he would be my pick there for the number 15 jersey. In number 16, again, you know, you got your Michael Cheekhams, you got your Jacob Hosts, Saliva Havillis, um, Sean Kepi. There's plenty of players here that, you know, you could slot in there and be absolutely confident they'd do a job. I'd love to see Thomas Fletcher here at some point this season. I really like the look of Tommy. I think he's a great player. Um, just, you know, he's just biding his time. He, he will get there eventually. Um, but I am probably leaning towards Saliva Havili because Saliva, 
I really like him. I really do like Saliva Havili, and I feel like he could really play dummy half, second row, front row. Like he can, he can chop and change. He can play several positions. But then you've also got Talis Duncan and Keon that can play eighty minutes as well. So to have Saliva Havili there, who I would argue could probably play centre in a pinch as well, I just think that that offers a little bit more um, stability off the bench there. So Saliva Havili in the number 16 jersey for me. And then finally, obviously, Tom Burgess rounds out the team. Now, when we are fully fit, like this, so this is my team until we get Jai Arrow, Campbell Graham, you know, players like that back. This this is the team that I would name if I was the coach. Now, let me know, guys, do you agree with this? Or do you disagree? I would honestly love to hear from you. But outside of that, when we are fully fit, this is the side that I would go with. So, You'd have your Campbell Grahams there. Um, then you'd have Isaiah Tass on the wing. Um, I would leave. I would pro- if we're going this way. I would probably leave Jack Whiten at five eight unless Lockie Ilias gets confidence back. Then I think that Ilias definitely deserves his spot back. You'd have Cody Walker uh, wherever Cody Walker is. Cody Walker back at the side. Then I would one thousand percent be happy to go like a Jack Whiten there. But I think. The best thing to do would probably be to leave, um, especially if Talis Duncan is, if he kills it, if he comes out and kills it, then I think the best bet's probably to run it like this. Uh, I would have Jack White in there with uh, Cody Walker. So I'd leave it like that. That would be my back line pretty much locked in there. My forward pack. Full strength, I would go this way. Exactly how that's listed. You then have um, probably David Mawale taking um, Saliva Havili's spot off the bench. Uh, And then, yeah, look, I think this is probably your best bet for this squad. You could also... uh, I think Shaq Mitchell deserves it over Saliva, but you could also have Saliva come on like that too. Like that, that is perfectly fine. But this is locked in. My full strength squad. At full strength, this is how I think the Rabbitohs should look. I think that is a very, very good lineup, especially if Cody Walker can kill it at halfback. I think this team, this is a grand final winning team in my opinion, but we just we just need to start making some big calls now, some bold changes to some positions, and I think we can move in the right direction. But guys, I would love to hear from you. Drop down in the comments what changes you think need to be made. Thank you all so much for tuning in. And as always, my friends, I will see you in the next one. Thanks, guys.